on Paramount Plus. Freedom Pals, there's a certain intel we have that we can't share with you. You know, it's classified. That's because we've been tricked. Ah, oh, fuck. The new kid played us, Freedom Pals. Wanting to join our side was a ruse. What? Yeah, the new kid kind of totally fucked you guys over. Sorry. They followed our lead to the police station and now intend to get a hundred dollar reward for that missing cat. Well, all is fair in love and war, Freedom P Pussies. <laughs> I love when you call them Freedom Pussies. You assholes! We're the ones that stopped the police chief's evil plan! We deserve that hundred dollar reward! Oh yeah? Just try and take it from us! We will! Civil War 3, it's going down! That's it, new kid! We're gonna rip you apart! No, Mysterion! We won't fight the new kid. They will. Alright, new kid. Time to die! Let's get this little shit! trying to help us. Dude, Mysterion is pissed at you, new kid. You guys started this war, not us! You don't fucking understand! Dr. Timothy was working on a way to save all of us! Freedom Pals and Coon Friends! What? Ah, uh, Tim, Tim, Easy, Doc. You've taken a lot of hits. Wow, this is your guy's base? This is fantastic! This looks like so much fun. Yeah, I mean, Coon Lair has a lot of cool stuff, too. But yeah, this is cool. Dr. Timothy was never your enemy. He was trying to help us all. But how? With this. Oh my god. He's figured it out. It was Dr. Timothy's passion. He worked tirelessly on it. A franchise plan that involved everyone. Each hero got their own movie and TV series. Every hero mathematically equal to the other. Jesus. This is... incredible. Timothy almost worked himself to death trying to come up with it! So while we were out trying to stick it to you guys, Timmy was actually trying to include us. Yeah, and then this kid nearly killed him. We're sorry the new kid is an asshole. That isn't our fault. Yeah, we were just using you guys. 
There's a hundred dollar reward for this cat. And you wanted her to yourselves. Yeah, but not anymore. If we proved anything tonight, it's that we are the best when we are all together. It's too late for that. We all started as one team. We all wanted to be superheroes for the same reason. To sell our franchise and make millions of dollars. Let's be one team again. I agree. Come on, guys, no more civil war. Let's get the reward money for this cat and use it together for one franchise. Yeah, let's do it. All right. But we're calling it Freedom Pals? Freedom Pals. And so, like, Timmy is sort of the leader of Freedom Pals? He's like, he's like the one in charge? Yes. Well, I think it's awesome. Honestly, Freedom Pals is a way better name than Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals. Freedom Pals. I'm super cool with this. Then it's so. Tomorrow, we get the reward money for Scrambles, and we use it to kickstart Timmy's franchise plan. Together. Freedom Pals. Retribution. But, but with inclusion! Fuck yeah, you guys. Let's do this. Very real. I know we've got other problems back in South Park, but I can't let those monsters hurt my sister. Stand aside, mortals. Casa Bonita awaits. Before we go in, I need to know that you can handle yourself. Take out these guys and I'll know you're ready. The only way to fight the darkness is with cooler, not lame darkness. Your superhero abilities alone will not be enough. You'll need to learn how to harness the powers of the Netherrealm in order to defeat these creatures. Inside and find Karen. Look at them. Those poor bastards don't even know that vampires are among them. We have to stop this evil once and for all. Look! Vampires! Fellow vampires, we are gathered in evil here in this hour of darkness in order to celebrate my birthday! Let us feast on the blood of the virgin, strawberry daiquiris. I want one. There's Karen. Oh no, look at her hair and her clothes. They've already started the transformation. Let's go before it's too late. Sorry, every person over the age of two must purchase a meal ticket at the register in order to experience the magic of Casa Bonita. That's right, one ticket will get you authentic Mexican food, death-defying cliff divers, the world-famous Black Bart's Cave, and more. All for the low price of $17 per person. Wow, that sounds fucking awesome! Just come back when you have one of these tickets and all of that is yours. We have to find another way in. Think of something, Butlord. Karen doesn't have much time left. Whoa there. Oh, oh God, that smell. Hey, uh, we got a ticket. Can we go in? Yeah, sure. God, it smells like canned oysters. Dude, it's me, Human Kite. I'm undercover right now. But if you need me, I'll do what I can. I came back to this universe to have dinner with my favorite aunt, uncle, and cousin. But Mexican food gives me heartburn, so I'm just eating the lettuce. Good. what are you doing in there? I was investigating an infestation of vampires here at Casa Bonita. But then one of them threw me in jail. I need your help. I need you to take a picture of me from my Instagram page while I'm in jail. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, asshole. Come on, I'm not leaving without my commemorative photograph. Nice. That's gonna look awesome on my Instagram. Thanks, new kid. I know you're here to stop the vamp kids, too. I want you to know, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help. All right, kids, who's ready for the best birthday party ever? We've got a lot of surprises for you. It's gonna be so cool, you're gonna love it. Did somebody say speech? Okay. Oh, man. You know, I may be a cop and Mike's stepdad, but my real passion is stand-up comedy. Who wants to hear a joke? James Woods dates a woman his own age. The end. We're having fun, aren't we? That was the punchline. Okay, who wants a strawberry daiquiri? Back away from the girl. Shh! Angel! I'm here to save you, Karen. I won't let them turn you into one of them. 
Hey, kid, we're just trying to be friends with her. Fine, I'm just gonna have to beat the crap out of you. Time out! What, what, what's wrong? That damn kid over there, how come she's not fighting? For the last time, I'm not a fucking vamp kid. Well, what's the difference? What's the difference? Look at us! I'm smoking a cigarette? We have a common enemy. Join us. Help us fight the vamp kids! Whatever, but I'm not wearing one of those costumes. What did you find, butthole? It's some kind of medallion. Come on, Karen's in that room! It's locked! Oh wow, you kids found one of the secret scavenger hunt vampire relics! Find three more to get in the special party room. It's VIP only. Cool, huh? I came up with it myself. We like to have fun here. They have my little sister in there. Can't you just open it with a regular key? Sorry, this door has a vampire protection spell. You'll have to finish the scavenger hunt if you want to get it open. Come on, let's go find the rest of these stupid relics. Where's the relic? <laughs> Beyond your reach, mortal. It's behind the counter and you'll never win enough tickets to get it. We'll see about that. Stay away from our goal, yes. Arnold! <sighs> Give us the relic! Oh, you want this shit right here, nigga? Well, you gonna have to pry for my cold, dead hands. Cause us vamp kids stick together. Right, vamp kids? Yeah. Come on, let's fuck these bitches up. You wanna know real pain? Congratulations, you're the first vamp kids to solve the door puzzle. I wonder what mystical powers will be unleashed. Oh, something's happening. I can feel, oh, I can feel something happening. It's, it's happening in my pocket. Wow, you broke the spell and made this key appear in my pocket. Now go on in and enjoy the party, kids. Make sure you stop by the Clamato Fountain and take pictures. I set it up myself. It's really cool. Come on, let's go. Karen! Guardian Angel, please don't hurt my friends! They're not your friends! You're just under their spell! Otherwise, you'll see how completely fucking lame they are! You've gone too far, Martal! You've laid eyes upon the blood fountain of eternal life! Now! Stop! Damn it! Karen must be under their spell! We've got to break it! Karen, they've tricked you into thinking vampires are cool! You have to snap out of it! They didn't trick me! They are cool! See? She wants to be with us! So why don't you just leave us alone? Ah! Enough! This ends now! <laughs> you fools! You thought my stepson was the master vampire, but it was really me all along. Just like in the classic vampire film, The Lost Boys. Pretty cool, huh, Mike? I dressed up like Keeper Sutherland, and I'm all like, hey, I'm the master vampire. This is the coolest birthday party ever, isn't it, Mike? Come on. No, it's not cool. Nothing about a vampire theme party is cool. It's fucking dumb as shit. No, it's not dumb. It's a really fucking sweet party. And it's really, really cool, so shut up. You just put your hands on a child. Penal code 13, or as we call it at the station, a James Woods. <laughs> we still like that fun, don't we? Dude, nobody here is having fun. Yes, they are, you son of a bitch. Aren't you having fun, little girl? I was, but now everyone's being so mean. Ah, see? She's not having fun. It's over, dude. Just give up. Oh, no, no. I have one more surprise for the birthday boy, and it's really super cool. A celebrity guest. What is he doing? Dark forces of Hollywood, hear me. Open the portal to hell. Release the spirit of our celebrity guest, Corey Haim, everybody. It worked. Come to me, Corey Haim. Come through the portal. Follow the sound of my voice. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm here, yay! Casa Bonita, Shamona! That's Corey Haim? No, you're not supposed to be here. You're not the star of the 80s classic, The Lost Boys. Ooh, Lost Boys? Where? I'll find them. Come on, let's go play. Let's go find the Lost Boys, like Peter Pan. Come on, let's go to Black Box Cave and find the Lost Boys. <laughs> Shamona! Holy shit, the crazy bastard made it! This could only mean one thing. Yeah, butthole's probably in the water level right now. Look, it's Cory 
overhead. Get him. No, you're being ignorant. I'm so tired of people being ignorant. Come on, vamp kids. Corey Haim is going to help us vanquish the birthday interlopers. No one wants to be defeated. Shamona. With Corey Haim on our side, we cannot lose. Dance and have fun. Hope you're ready to play. Ah! Ah! No, he's possessing Karen. What's happening? Remember, children, you can be anyone and do anything. Get out of Karen's body, you bastard! Help me, children. I hate it. We broke the spell. Karen, are you okay? I think so. I could feel Corey Haim taking over my body, but then I woke up. And now I can finally see. See how completely fucking lame vamp kids are. Oh man, she's mortal again. Come on, vamps, let's go watch the puppet show. Why did I ever want to be friends with those weirdos? I told you they were lame. What took you so long to realize it? I just wanted to have some friends to play with. My brother, he's my best friend, but he's always too busy to hang out with me. Oh, well, uh, I I'll have a talk with him. I I'll make sure he spends more time with you. I promise. Thanks. You know, if you were goth, you wouldn't even care about having friends. Really? Well, what would I have to do to be goth? It's easy. That well, wasn't that fun, boys and girls. Super sweet party, huh? Here, have a gift bag for being a good sport. Here's one for you, and here's one for you. And how would you like one, young lady? No thanks. Gift bags are fucking lame. At least she's not a vamp kid.